Don't you just hate the popular kid? Hey yo, and welcome again to Old Taku New Tricks, where today I want to talk about an anime that I watched on a lark and I wound up liking really, really well. Released back in 2016, haven't you heard I'm Sakamoto, which really is a title that can only exist in anime and stale internet memes. It's a comedy about the trials and tribulations of Sakamoto, and yes, he goes by one name. Sakamoto is basically Brad Pitt and capable of doing anything without being the smoothest player in the room and completely unflappable to like the point of absurdity. However, the stories proper are like never really about him specifically, but rather they center on how he affects the lives of the students and teachers around him. And that's it. It's a simple premise done effectively. It's textbook simple storytelling. And that's not a bad thing. Right now, we're in like the Netflix age of anime, where it seems most titles these days have to be continually segmented by cliffhangers to draw would-be binge watchers in and keep their attention for hours at a time. Sakamoto, on the other hand, is an episodic, self-contained yarn that rarely has any callbacks to previous episodes. You are meant to enjoy the episodes on your own time, further helped by the fact that each episode has two main stories, sometimes sliding in a third mini-vignette. And every single one of these stories is just Sakamoto going about his day. He goes to the grocery store, he checks out porno on a dare for his classmates, he does summer errands, he works at McDonald's. It's a slice of life anime if that life were a demigod. You see, most of the charm and the humor of the show really comes down to the fact that most of the amazing stuff that Sakamoto does really only exists in the minds of the people around him. I said most things. Oh sure, he duels the occasional Japanese hornet and also flies like Mary Poppins to save a bird caught in a storm, but where it gets really funny is when he does something mundane like sweep the ceiling of dust and everyone around him marvels at it because it seems like he's making it snow. <laughs> It's just hilarious to me that the anime frames these incredible feats of agility and technique that Sakamoto does seemingly every day, and then undercut it with the fact that he's actually just doing something practical. Oh my god, he's attempting to put out a fire using the wind created by his rapid movement! Or he's just trying to stomp on the floor to alert help. Holy crap, he's attempting to bring down the thunder lightning to stun his opponent! Or he's trying to hail a cab because it's raining. And you just fall for it every single time. These moments are often preempted by his predominantly male classmates being jealous of how everyone loves him, only to have their attempts to get back at him blow up in their collective faces. And eventually, they all come around to liking Sakamoto and even grow a little having done so. <laughs> It's formulaic to be sure, but what I think really attracts me to the series is that you're never really sure how much of this is Sakamoto just existing and how much of this is purposeful. All throughout the series, it's never really made explicit just how much Sakamoto is aware of what he does and how it affects other people. He usually plays the pranks and attempts to sabotage his life as happy little accidents that he either pays no mind to, or he's just blissfully unaware of. Even when he helps someone out of a problem in his own unique way, he just blows the situation off as if it was nothing. Sakamoto-kun, you're never really sure if Sakamoto is being facetious or not. In fact, you don't even really know Sakamoto at all. 
Not his home life, not his life previous to the present, absolutely nada. The most effective part of the show, at least in my eyes, is when the characters start to realize that everyone knows Sakamoto, but no one really knows Sakamoto. Even his seemingly closest friend, Yoshinobu, only met him at the beginning of the school year. <laughs> Oh, did I not mention the yaoi and man service? Because there is quite a bit of that. And it's unabashed man service too. In fact, the anime plays against type and has Sakamoto make a mistake and bean Yoshinobu with a softball, just so he can cradle him in his arms and tear his shirt. He even plays butt sumo with another guy. Or maybe they're just reenacting their favorite scene from Keijo. Or Requiem for a Dream. <laughs> Either way, it's so blatant that I just love it. And Yoshinobu's mom certainly loves it too. Yeah, there's a real creepy turn here where Mommy Dearest has an obsession with Sakamoto, who I remind you, despite being an Adonis and how dare we even attempt to contextualize his existence in human years, is still a high school student. Sakamoto -ki! It's so bad that she actually dresses like her son when he's sick just so she could fool Sakamoto into thinking she's her son and get closer to him. Thankfully, the anime is fully aware that this is not a good thing she's doing, considering it purposefully plays up the creepiness, what with the repeated shots of her prowler face. But if I had to mark it down for a few things, I will say that if you judge it on an episode by episode basis, a lot of it is hit or miss, and I'll also say that the ending feels pretty rushed without there being any kind of proper build-up to it. Not gonna go too heavy into it, but I feel there could have been some more lead into the, well, final boss for lack of a better term. Though I do like the way he was ultimately dispatched, if only because it feels like a perfect anti-climax, which suits the anime's style of humor perfectly. I'll also say that a lot of the humor can be tied to puns and cultural idiosyncrasies, which are just lost in translation more than anything. But as a comedy, Sakamoto does exactly what it needs to do, and for the most part, it does it pretty well. It doesn't do much else, but I don't feel like it needs to. It's available to stream on Hulu and Crunchyroll right now, so if you haven't seen it, give it a watch if anything I've said or shown seems interesting to you. And if you have seen it, what did you guys think of it?